Hello, magandang araw sa inyong lahat, greetings. So, it's our weekly vlog again. And uh, this week, we're going to talk about utang, debt, borrowing. And dami hong emails and texts that we received all about borrowing this week. And let me share you my views on borrowing. Ang borrowing ba, ang utang ba is good or bad? Both. Pag tamang gamit ng utang, of course it's good. Pag mali ang gamit ng utang, of course it's bad. But let me share with you my take on utang. Utang is bring, bring in money that you don't have into your pocket. Or, wala kang pera, umutang ka, nagkaroon ka ng pera, pumasok sa bulsa mo. Ang tanong, bakit ka umutang? Why did you borrow to begin with? So, let's take a, a, a certain examples. Okay bang umutang para bumili ng real estate? Okay bang umutang para ipautang? Okay bang umutang para sumugal? Okay bang umutang para invest? Okay, let's talk about is it good to borrow to invest? Everybody borrows to invest. Lahat ng kumpanya around us, they borrow to invest in their company or to invest in their expansion. So, ibig sabihin, yung cost of borrowing nila, kayang bayaran nung paglalagyan ng perang inutang nila. My experience, exactly the same. I have borrowed to buy real estate 100% utang. Dahil alam kong kaya kong bayaran ng interest at alam kong meron akong gagawin dun sa real estate na yun at mapabenta ko at mababayaran ko yung utang, I was very, very successful. So, ibig sabihin, yung akong walang kapital, nagkakapital para na-invest ko sa real estate and eventually I sold it and made money on it. Nung una, pinarenta ko. In the end, binenta ko. Kita ko all the way. Therefore, good debt yung akin. Yung utang ko was my capital. So, kung wala kang pera, pwedeng isipin na umutang pang kapital. Provided, yung paglalagyan ay kikita pambayad ng interest at pagbayad ng principal. So, the same argument goes, pwede ba akong umutang para ipautang? The same argument goes. The same logic goes. Yung kung pagpapautangan mo ay solid. Solid. Meron kang collateral at meron kang kasiguruhan na mababayaran ka na higit sa interest na binabayaran mo sa awinutang mo, you can take the risk. Pero that's very, very relative. Maaring hindi pwede sa akin, pwede sa'yo, depende sa kausap mo at depende sa paggagamitan din nung umuutang sa'yo. Kung yung paggagamitan ng umuutang sa'yo is isusugal lang niya o pang good time lang niya, Abay, kahit may collateral ka, huwag mo na pautang, lalo na kung ang kapital mo ay utang. Ngayon, kung ang kapital mo ay kapital mo, hindi mo inutang, at gusto mong isugal dahil kilala mo yung borrower, risk ko mo yan. I cannot say whether it's good or bad. Pero ang pinag-uusapan natin is really debt. So, dapat pag-isipan natin. It's the same principle on investing. Yung ba pera ginagamit natin for ownership investment? or for lending investment. Yung kapital ko, sa ko gagamitin? To buy something I own or to lend something so that I can earn interest? Isipin lang natin yung source of pera natin, kay savings natin yan, pwede ring utang yan. My point is, debt is good. If you use the money for a successful financial investment. Meron din naman na utang sa pangangailangan. Kailangan mo medicine, wala kang pera. What can you do? Umutang ka. No question. I have, that has happened to us. Most of us, nagkagaroon, kinulang ka ng pera, kailangan, kailangan mo bayad sa doktor, hospital. Necessity yan. So that's not good or bad. It's a necessity. Pagsikapan na lang natin na may magagawa tayong paraan para bayaran ang utang. 
so that we can move forward. So that is neutral. That is good and that is bad, depending on how you use the money. So the same principles of investing apply. Dapat alam natin yung paglalagyan natin ay may kasiguruhan o walang kasiguruhan. Second point, paano ka makakautang? Which is more important. Some people face value. Dahil kilala ka, may integridad ka, may character ka, pautang ka. In the financing industry, number one sa mga nagpapautang is the consideration of character of the borrower. Yang bang taong nan, you can trust na may integrity that he will not run away pag kailangan magbayad, magbabayad. Pag ang tao, kahit na anong ganda ng edukasyon, at kahit na anong ganda ng kanyang pag-aar, ng kanyang sitwasyon, pag ang reputasyon or ang karakter niya, known to the public, is manggagansyo, hindi marunong mambayad ng utang. Walang magpapautang dyan. Eventually, makakalusot yan. So, umpisa. But in the end, wala. So, when you're going to borrow because you need to raise capital through borrowing, dapat presenta mo sarili mo na ikaw ay credible, na ikaw ay somebody that they can rely on. Your character is very important. Nag-umpisa sa character sa dating. Dadating ka ron, asama ng damit mo, ang gulo ng buhok mo, you don't take care of your personal looks. Yan palang negative na. Negative na yan. Hindi ka na po utang. Kailangan, obligasyon natin, tignan natin ang sarili natin. Am I presentable? And I'm not saying kailangan branded lahat, ah, na Armani suit, o naka kung ano-anong pang uh, sikat na brand ng suit. Hindi. Kailangan presentable ka lang at credible ka. Hindi porket pangit ka, hindi ka credible. O hindi porket guwapo ka, credible ka. Yun dating, very important yung presentasyon mo sa sarili mo dun sa kinakausap mo. That's the first rule of borrowing. That ikaw is credit worthy. That you are worthy to be given money by a lender. So, importante yan. Dan tayo mag-uupisa. Pangalawa, yung clarity of purpose. Saan mo gagamitin yung inuutang mo? Dahil yung papautang sa'yo, tatanungin ka niyan. They will ask you, What, why do you need the money for? What is your purpose? In fact, that's an application for me. Eh. So you need to be clear. Oh, I need this for my medication. Titignan ka ngayon. Ako, is this something, medication, pampaputi pampa lang ng kutis? O dahil kailangan, dahil may sakit ka? O meron ka bang pambayad? At ikaw ba may karakter na kaya mong bayaran yan? Because this is a temporary need. You can borrow for temporary needs. I mean, people will lend you if you are credible. Now, the purpose is to buy real estate. Of course, you may believe me, value yan. You can use that as a mortgage. But again, the, people, the banker or financier will ask, may capability ka bang gawin yung purpose mo? May kakayahan ka bang execute the plan that you have or using my money that I will lend you. If there is doubt on your capability to execute, chances are you will not get you will not get the loan. Therefore, babalik tayo sa fundamentals. You have to look worthy na pwede kang umutang. You have to look capable na execute mo yung plano mong gagawit sa pera. And of course, yung plano mo has to be credible. Yung plano niyan, eh, talaga may laban. Hindi, hindi guni-guni. Finally, the, four, the, the principle is debt is capital. It's neutral. Pwede masama, pwede mag, maayos, but it's neutral. Depends on how you use it. If your plan is good, your execution is good, but you still fail, it's okay. Failure is passing. Do not be afraid to fail. 
if I'm going, if I'm the lender, if I have my confidence that you can do it, even if you fail, I will lend you some more if I know you can do it anyway. So that's my take. Debt is capital. Debt is neither good nor bad. It's how you use it for ownership, for lending. They both are okay. It's my experience and I want to share it with you. Go and do it, but be credible, be sure, know what you want to do with it, and be committed to make it happen. And never, never run away from your debtor, from your creditor. Pag may problema, unahan nyo at sabihin nyo, kaka problema, but I have a solution. That's it for now. But remember, don't be afraid. Just do what you think you can do because you know you can do it and you're committed to do it. See you next week. <laughs> Again, press that subscribe button. This week we had a lot of questions. That's why we talked about debt. Very many are concerned. And if you want more specific, if you have want more specific answers with specific questions that I not take up, please send it again. We'll take it up some other time. Don't forget, subscribe. See you.